Hello everybody, and show you our new uh, showroom today uh, at our main office. So here is the new Alpha T20 20 kilowatt inverter up there. We have one battery, two batteries, three batteries, four batteries. So one battery is a little bit more than eight kilowatt hours. So we are looking at about 32 kilowatt hours here. So amazing system. And here we have this room that we are in here now. So we have, uh, now it's early morning, but later today we will have office administration here and here. Um, so we have two rooms. We have one material room over there and we have this room. So we, we will see when we cut the main that uh, this uh, room will stay on. Um, just go over the equipment before we do that. Here we have the smart meter. We have a special breaker, AC breaker and surge protection. Here we have the strings, protection from the strings. So the cables from the panels come in here. So we have one string on the porch, two string on the carport and three on the clinic. So they all come in and after that, after this protection, they go into the inverter over here. So yeah, we can take off this and show you here. Uh, so the, the three strings from over here, they come in here, plus minus, red is plus, uh, black is minus. So you have one, two, three, that's how they come in. So, and to turn all of them off, you just turn this breaker, which is cool. So you don't have to mess around with, you don't have to turn them off over there, you turn them off at the inverter if you need uh, a fast way. Of course, sometimes you have to close hair, but many times it's enough to do only this one, the main DC breaker. And uh, this is the battery breaker. This is the Wi-Fi. We use internet. Oh, that's for BMS. The internet is this one. This one. You see it's blinking. The top one there. There you see. There you see. That goes to the internet router. And here you see the magic of the alpha inverter that you have a backup output and the grid output. So you don't have one, you have two AC outputs. That is why it's completely safe when there is a power cut because then you have AC only from this. So a separate circuit. That's why it works so well. And here we have the symbols. This means that it's low on energy right now, obviously, because it's early morning. All white lights, that means it's working the way it should. System, battery, meter, and communication is all okay. ATS, that's for uh, if the solar system uh, has a failure, so then it will bypass the solar system. That's all, all it does. It has nothing to do with power caps, that some people think. Uh, the batteries are LFP, 10,000 cycles. I'll say that again, 10,000 cycles. Normal uh, batteries that you get on cheaper, not so high quality systems, they are usually 6,000 cycles. And this is also 95% uh, discharge. So you can discharge them to 5%. And also they have very nice uh, discharge rate. So you can discharge them uh, quite fast without hurting them. On cheaper batteries, if you discharge them fast, you will, over time, you will reduce the lifetime quite a lot. Um, here we have a second ATS that actually is for use uh, in a situation where the grid goes down for a long time, like uh, in a, some kind of nuclear disaster or something, where the grid goes down for a long time. Then we can turn this and then we get everything on uh, off-grid connected to the solar. So then we will have an off-grid system where we can have absolutely everything connected to the solar. Of course, then we have to be careful not to go over the limit of the inverter. But if we didn't have this one, we would not be able to put many things on the, uh, on the solar when there was a long uh, power cut. So that's an amazing uh, box. 
Of course, not in use normally, but if it's needed, it's extremely useful. Um, so it's the best of both both worlds uh, in a way that uh, you can stay on the grid when that is working properly, and if you have a very bad situation in the world, you can actually go off grid with everything. So you get the best of both worlds. So here's that we call this the MD, MDB because this is three phase. We use a lot of power. We have a proper MDB for distribution of the power. And we have obviously several houses. We have a big house that way and that, that we distribute from here. And this is the solar system and the showroom. So what I'm gonna show you now is the power cut. We're gonna simulate the power cut and then you will see what happens. So we're just gonna pull down the main. That's exactly what happens in a power cut. Is basically the power disappears from outside. So let's try that. So now the power is gone. This is exactly what happens in power cut. So now we have power on these things. Not this one, but this one. Uh, because this is the grid, but this one, this one is distributing power to this room. So we can check that we actually have power on everything here. Uh, for example, air conditioning, you can see it's opening here. No problem at all, it's the, the way it should be. And the inverter is now in UPS mode, meaning it's only sending power out through the backup. And this is the data, we're at 15%. So we have enough battery now to run, even at 15%, we, we can run a long time. It will run to about 2-3% two, two, and then it will stop, which will take a long time. Uh, because these things are not running, so the only thing taking from the battery is this. And of course in the house, because here we also have a breaker, a backup breaker. It's actually going from here. We have a backup breaker that goes to the house so that we have power during power cuts. Uh, in the main house too, not only in this room. So, that's pretty much it. Uh, so then we just turn on the main again. And we don't notice anything because the inverter is so fast. That uh, we are able to turn this on and off and go to power cut. And you don't see the lights blinking even. So that's how fast and that's because this is the third generation of the inverter. So it's improving things like that. Uh, the fastness of the transfer during power cuts. It's basically internal switching here. Switching between output here. Closing that one, opening that one. That's what's going on. And that's why it's so fast uh, on this uh, third generation. Now for those that have heard of the Smile 5 single phase. That's also the third generation. So this is part of the same series. Same technology inside like the Smile 5 and for those that have the Smile 5 they know how reliable that is and how good it is during power cuts. So that's a little uh, overview of the showroom the way it, uh, it is uh, now.